Welcome back to the Illinois Autism Partnership Virtual Classroom. I'm Miss Shannon, and today we're gonna make one of my favorite foods, boxed macaroni and cheese. Before we get started, let's take a look at our schedule. First, we're going to review our schedule, then we'll review our materials, we'll practice our keywords, we'll watch our lesson and make some mac and cheese, and then we'll wrap up everything we've learned. Now that reviewing the schedule is finished, Time to gather and review our materials. Before we make our macaroni and cheese, we need to gather and review our materials. If you have the printed materials list at home, you can follow along with me. The first thing that we need is our stove. There's a couple different kinds of stoves out there. There's an electric stove, like what I have, that has flat burners and uses electricity to make heat. There's also gas stoves, where they use small flames on these burners to make heat. Whenever you're using the stove, make sure that you're being really safe and you're really careful because it will get very hot. You might wanna ask an adult in your house to help you before you use the stove. Another thing that we're going to need is a pot. You don't need a real big pot, um, one about this size so that we can put about six cups of water in here and still fit all of our macaroni and cheese. The next thing that we'll need is our box of mac and cheese. This is gonna have all of our noodles and a cheesy sauce pack in it. I'm using Kraft macaroni and cheese and the ingredients that this asked for on the side. You can use whatever kind of mac and cheese you have at home. Just make sure you read about what you need to add in because it might be a little bit different than mine. Another thing that we're going to need is both milk and butter. When these melt and mix together in our pot with our cheese sauce, it's gonna make everything creamy and ooey gooey and cheesy and delicious. We're going to need a glass measuring cup you guys might remember this from our last video when we made smoothies. This one works great for measuring liquids. So we're gonna be using this to measure our water and our milk. The final thing that we're going to need is something called a colander. Some people call it a strainer. This will go in our sink and when we're done boiling our noodles, we'll pour everything from our pot in here so that all the water can go down the drain and we're left just with our noodles so that we can add our cheese, our milk and our butter to make our mac and cheese. Great job gathering and reviewing our materials. Let's check our schedule. Review materials is finished. Now it's time to practice our keywords. Let's take a look at the keywords we might see in today's lesson. I'm going to add them to my word wall. You can too. Our first word is boil. When we boil something, we heat a liquid and turn it into a gas. We're going to boil our water. Be very careful when we boil because both the water and the gas or the steam that comes from boiling are very, very hot. You wanna be really, really careful when we boil. Our next keyword is stir. We are going to take a spoon and stir all of our ingredients together. Our next keyword is melt. When we melt something, we use heat on a solid to turn into a liquid. Have you ever had an ice cream cone on a hot summer's day? When you're outside in the heat and you've got your ice cream, sometimes it starts to melt and drip down your hands. We're gonna do the same thing, but with our butter. We're going to heat it and melt it in our mac and cheese. Our next keyword is pour. We are going to pour both our water and our milk into our pot. And our last keyword today is recipe. Whenever we cook something, it's great to follow a recipe. A recipe is a step-by-step -step list of um, instructions or ingredients that we need to mix together to make a certain kind of food. Today, our recipe is going to be making mac and cheese. Let's review our keywords one more time. We have boil, stir, melt, pour, and recipe. Let's go check our schedule. We just finished reviewing our keywords and adding them to our word wall. So keywords is finished. Now it's time for our lesson and making our macaroni and cheese. Before we start cooking, let's make sure that we have everything that we need. We have our stove, a pot, our mac and cheese, milk, butter, a measuring cup, and a colander. We're ready to go. 
Remember, the first step to cooking anything is to wash your hands really well. I'm gonna wash my hands with warm water for 20 seconds. Count with me. Now we're ready to cook. Now that our hands are clean, we can follow our recipe for making boxed mac and cheese. The first step in our recipe is to pour six cups of water into our pot and bring it to a boil. So remember this, this has two cups. So I'm gonna use this whole thing three times to make six cups. One, Now that I have all my water in the pot, I'm going to turn my stove on a high heat so that I can bring that water to a boil. Remember, boiling is when we heat this liquid, and we're gonna start to see a lot of bubbles as it turns into steam. That'll tell us that it's hot enough to add our noodles. It might take a couple of minutes, so check back in with me in a few minutes. Okay, it's been a couple of minutes and we can see that our water is boiling. You can see all that steam, it's really, really hot. So I have to be careful with this next part. I'm going to pour my macaroni and cheese into the boiling water. Now in this box, there are noodles and there is a cheese sauce packet. I need to take this packet out. I don't want this to go in the water right now. Just the noodles. Pour all of that in there. I'm also gonna turn my heat down a little bit. I don't need it to keep boiling quite so much. And I'm going to stir it around with my spoon. Make sure nothing is sticking together. Now I'm going to set a timer for about seven to eight minutes. We'll go right in the middle and do seven and a half minutes. I'm gonna come over and stir it a couple of times while it's cooking, just to make sure that the noodles don't stick together. So let's set our timer. Seven minutes and 30 seconds, ready to go. You hear that? That means that our food is ready. I'm going to turn the stove off before I take anything off of it. I wanna make sure that I'm not still having heat go to the stove. Be aware though that this is still gonna be really, really hot even though it's turned off, so you have to be careful. Very carefully, I'm gonna walk my pot over to my sink. In my sink, I already have my colander and I am going to, again, very carefully pour this in my colander. You can see all that steam coming up because it is really hot water. The colander has holes in the bottom so that the water can drip out and leave the noodles behind. I'm gonna shake that around a little bit, make sure all the water's out, and I'm gonna pour my noodles right back into my pot. Now that I have just my noodles in the pot, I'm gonna start to add my other ingredients to make it nice and cheesy. The first thing that I'm going to add is four tablespoons of butter. If you use sticks of butter like this, you'll see that there's lines. That tells us each uh, piece between these lines is a tablespoon. So I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, and cut it right here on this line. So 
I don't need this smaller piece. I'm gonna take this big piece, cut it up a little bit so it melts easier, and I'm gonna throw it in my pot. Let's give that a quick stir so that we can start to melt our butter. I can see that my butter is already starting to melt. Now I'm going to add in a quarter cup of milk. I'm gonna get my measuring cup back out. Pour in my quarter cup of milk. Again, we're gonna stir it around a little bit. And now for the best part, the cheese. This is where we're gonna add that in. Now I wanna mix everything together carefully so I don't make a mess. I sometimes make a mess when I cook. And I'm gonna mix that all together until it's nice and mixed. All my butter's melted. There's no more clumps in my cheese. It's just means we can serve it and eat some lunch. Now that we finished our mac and cheese, the best part of cooking, eating. Mmm, turned out perfect. So our lesson is finished. We made a delicious pot of macaroni and cheese. Now it's time to wrap up what we've learned. Let's wrap up what we've learned today. And we learned a lot. We learned how to follow the steps of a recipe, how to use our stove and be safe, and how to make boxed macaroni and cheese. Did you use the same kind that I did? What's your favorite kind of mac and cheese? After this lesson, be sure to check out all the fun activities that we've created for you. And you can share your finished products on the Easter Seals Facebook page with the hashtag virtual classroom. In our next cooking lesson, we're gonna be celebrating Cinco de Mayo and make tacos. You're going to need whatever kind of meat you like to put in your tacos, tortillas, special toppings like lettuce or tomatoes or cheese, maybe some sour cream or salsa. You can put whatever it is that you like in your tacos. Let's take a look at our schedule one more time. We've wrapped up what we've learned. And now our schedule is finished. We're done for today. Thank you guys so much for coming back and joining me in the Illinois Autism Partnership Virtual Classroom. Remember to send us pictures of your growing word walls or your favorite recipes. You might see your picture in one of our upcoming videos. We'll be posting new lessons every Tuesday and Thursday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. I'm Miss Shannon, happy learning.